Thank you for joining this, our second in our new series of teacher-centric webinars. This particular webinar is based on using ActiveOffice and aims to show you how you can use this Promethean, sorry, this PowerPoint plugin to give true interaction to your already created PowerPoint. I am Janice Prenstadter, your host today, and today's presenter is Samantha Clues. For those of you who haven't joined us previously, Sam and I are both Promethean teaching and learning consultants for the Northern European region. We both come from teaching backgrounds and have knowledge and first-hand experiences of using new technologies in the classroom. Right, Sam, if you'd like to get us started today. Thanks, Janice. And I'd first like to start by saying that tonight's webinar is being delivered through PowerPoint, not Active Inspire. And this is actually a first for us, not just on this series of WebEx, but in general, and something we're quite excited about. So what is Promethean Active Office? Well, simply put, it is a plugin for PowerPoint, which allows me to use a small amount of the Promethean to Inspire toolbar and utilize our learner response systems. Now, Promethean Active Office is available to all existing Promethean customers. Therefore, if you use Active Inspire in your classroom, you're able to obtain a license for this product. And I will be explaining later on in this session how to do that. The plugin itself gives you an extra tab on your standard PowerPoint toolbar. You can see it here below. The toolbar gives you access to the Promethean tools that are available to you. And one of the most important options in this section is the Show Toolbar. By selecting this, you are ensuring that the color toolbar that I have used will be visible when you view your PowerPoint. You will notice that the toolbar itself floats over your presentation. It doesn't interfere with what you're doing or your previously prepared content, but allows you to interact with it. This part of the plugin also gives you all the options for our learner response system, including registrations, question wizards, and express poll, all of which function exactly the same as they do in Active Inspire. If you are interested in finding out more about how this works, make sure you register for our webinar on the 24th of June, where we'll cover this in more detail. Now, just as in Active Inspire, with Promethean Active Office, you have access to pre-designed profiles, each of which offers you different tools based on what it is you are trying to achieve in your lesson, presentation, or lecture, therefore allowing you to customize your experience to suit your needs. The first toolbar is presentation. In this toolbar, you have access to tools such as the Spotlight and Revealer, as well as a full annotation suite, including different color options and size alteration. You'll see that the tool selection is more limited than Active Inspire, but they allow me to interact with the presentation as I am showing it to you, thus creating a more interactive experience in the classroom through PowerPoint. In addition to this toolbar, we also have the annotation, question master, and instant voting toolbars, each of which are shown to you here, and again, give you a unique tool set available depending on your need. I like the annotation toolbar as it gives me access to the math tools, perfect for when I'm trying to demonstrate something to students, such as drawing lines, creating diagrams, or evaluating a process. The plugin itself also allows me to create my own profiles, therefore creating a personalized toolbar. At this stage, I'm going to move on to show you how you could use these tools to interact with an actual lesson. Now, the lesson that I'm demonstrating is one I used before I had my Promethean board and Active Inspire. So please do forgive me if the content is now a little old, but hopefully it will show you how you can utilize this new software with your previously created resources and give them a nice revamp. For this particular geography lesson, we were looking at the processes of a river. I won't be focusing on the topic directly, but rather using it as a way to add content. This starter activity was originally designed to be seven to five minutes long. 
On the PowerPoint, I've listed a series of geographical terms. But instead of asking my students what they mean, I want them to interact with me, to have fun, to get involved. Because we all know the more they do this, the more they will remember. Now, with the annotation tools, I'm able to ask them to play Pictionary. I'm going to ask invite a student up to the board, pick a word, and draw it. Now, I'm going to get you, everyone here, to guess what it is that I'm going to draw now. Is it leaf drip, Sam? Thanks very much, Janice, <laughs> for uh, sending that in. It's very difficult to draw with a mouse. But hopefully you can see how we can interact with the presentation, giving it a more um, dynamic feel. If we move on to our next page, this page gives definitions of the four erosive processes. Now, you'd expect to find all of these in a, ri in a river. But in its current format, it gives all the details at once, and this can be quite distracting. By simply adding the revealer to my page, I'm going to be able to reveal the details at my pace. So by adding the revealer means I have control of what my students see. Not only is this going to impact how you deliver the lesson as a teacher, but it will influence the learning as one thing is tackled at a time, ensuring that students understand each stage. Now, the next page was designed to be a written activity where students would make a copy of the diagram. And this activity still stands. But now I can use the annotation tools to highlight keywords explain any processes that are happening in the river, and guarantee that each of my students understands what's happening at each stage. I could also use the clock tool to set a timer. Thus adding pace to my lesson, oops, and ensuring that students stay on task. For the next couple of activities, I'm going to utilize the, the different toolbars that I have available to me. Firstly, the math toolbar, sorry, the voting toolbar. We often ask questions throughout our lessons to gain understanding from our students. Here, the options we have previously looked at in the lesson are presented to them. By using Promethean's learner response systems and the express poll, I'm able to see who in my class can recognize which of these is not a form of erosion. In this example, I need to use the math functionality. As you can see, I'm now looking at a cross section of a river. I can select a ruler, line to show the cross section, and use the protractor to work out the angle of the erosion at each side of the river. Using this information, I'll be able to investigate the river flow at varying points and help students to understand how erosion does not happen evenly at each side of the riverbed. I hope you'll be able to think of ways in which you'll be able to use these tools in your own existing lessons. And hopefully, I've also convinced you that Promethean Active Office is a really neat little piece of um, software that can really make your planning easier by allowing you to utilize the interactivity tools within PowerPoint. Now, as I said, I'm going to show you how you can download this directly from Promethean Planet.
Make sure that you've opened Promethean Planet and that you are logged in. If you visit the site regularly, you will be automatically logged in and you'll see your name at the top of the screen. If you've not visited the site before, you may need to register or log in using your previous details. From here, you need to select Support. This opens a separate page, and from there, select Software on the left-hand side. This should bring up four options. The top one is Promethean Active Office. This dedicated page gives you more information on the product, a small video presentation, and any specification details that you might need. We're able to hit the download option, and we're going to select the language which we would prefer. On this download page, we're now able to scroll to the bottom to generate our serial number. And this is an important step. Here, you need to input your Active Inspire serial number, so the one that you already have, and then validate. This will give you a Promethean Active Office number. It's important to realize that these are not the same. Please write this down and save it. Download. And your download will start automatically. You should run the program and allow the software to install. When you first open it, you will be asked to input all those all important serial numbers, and then you are good to go. Well, I hope that I've given you a few things to think about, but as a recap, I would like to emphasize why you, as a teacher, might want to utilize some of the key features within ActiveOffice. While I'm doing that, if you would like to chat in any questions, you might have, then please do let us know. By using ActiveOffice, you are able to benefit from enhanced flexibility, allowing you to work with content you've already created or have found elsewhere, not compromising on the interactivity. You can enhance student engagement by embedding LRSA questions directly into the lesson, thus providing assessment opportunities throughout, informative or summative, and finally, add the interactivity that standard PowerPoints just can't produce. All of these ultimately supporting the teacher and the learning needs of your students. And now, so I hope you found today's been useful. I'm just going to pass you back to Janice, who's going to go through other areas of support that Promethean offer. Thank you, Sam. As Sam said, I hope that, that you found that little information on the um, Active Office plugin for PowerPoint useful today. Um, and it uh, sparks you to get on that website and download and install your own um, copy of it on your computer. I'd like to remind you that you can review the skills used in the examples that you saw today by um, revisiting the free training courses that we have available to you on uh, Promethean Planet. There is the Introduction to Active Inspire course, which will take you through how to use some of the basic tools on those toolbars that Sam showed you. Uh, but we do also have a free online training course to support you um, to get up and running using Active Office. So please make sure that you have a look under the Professional Development tab uh, to find out about those courses that are on offer. You can also find out support with using Active Office in the community forums. Also under professional development, you will find a selection of Promethean Active Tips. These are short video tutorials on how to complete a variety of functions in Active Inspire, anything from creating containers to working with Magic Ink. You can watch the Active Tips video, or you can download it to your MP3 by subscribing to our podcast. After the video, make sure to download the associated flip chart so that you can practice your newly acquired skills. You can also find support in the help files under the help in the main menu of your software. 
There are further titles in this webinar series. Although we try to advertise locally, we, rec we recommend you keep an eye on our advertisement on the training forum on Promethean Planet. The registration link is, links for all of these sessions are already open now, so you can go on and set your registration for them. As long as you are registered for the session in advance of it happening, you will be sent a link to the recording after. So even if you aren't able to attend the live session, please make sure that you register so that you will have that recording link sent to you. Both Sam and I will be advertising via Facebook and Twitter. On the screen now are our Twitter handles, and we would always love for more followers. So if you're a Twitter user, please give us a follow, and we'll do the same back to you. Also, if you have enjoyed this webinar and any of the other titles that we have done, uh, it would be really great if you could tweet that to your followers. We would always love to have as many people as we can know about these sessions and register for them. So please help us to get the word out. Thanks for joining us again today.